Andy Pilgrim here with Johnny O'Connell, my teammate. We're at round 11 of the 2011 World Challenge Championship, and we're going to give you a couple of laps around Laguna Seca. All right, coming up the front straight away on the start and finish line. This is turn one. It's actually not really a turn unless you're doing 100 miles an hour on a shopping trolley. Down to turn two, hard left-hander downhill. It's kind of a double apex left-hander. Coming through there, you back on the power just about right here. A lot of oversteer, a lot of wheel spin coming out. Nice little right hand at turn three, and it's sort of flat, no help, no banking here. Coming up to turn four, right hander, about 100 mile an hour apex here. So good, nice flat corner, a little bit of aerodynamics there, help you get through there pretty quick. Just coming up to turn five, left hander. This is uh, Mr. O'Connell in front of me right here. Oh, he just put a load of stuff all over my windshield. How rude is that? Coming up to turn six, really fast. Got a real, oh, we got a Volvo in front blowing up here. This is a heck of a lap, guys. Okay, Johnny's through it, I'm through it. We're now off again through turn six, up the hill to the infamous corkscrew. Coming up the hill here. It's a little dark in the morning here, a lot of cloud cover. Left-hander, over the top, right-hander. Johnny throwing stuff up again at my car. Left hand downhill, very tough right here, downhill. This is early, we are the track cleaner uppers as you can tell, uh, with the first, first bunch out. Turn 10, right hander, and then coming up to turn 11, onto the front straightaway. Left hander, second gear corner, a lot of wheel spin out of here, and fly up that straightaway. And that was a pretty eventful lap of Laguna Seca. All right, here we go. Laguna Seca, we're up in the fifth gear here, a lot of elevation change that you really don't always pick up on the video, but going into turn two, we go down to the second gear, you diamond corner this, making two apexes out of it, up in the third gear, turn three, a really fun right hand corner, see the Corvette in front of me, up in the fourth gear, turn four, very fast corner, lightly on the brakes, try to get nice and tight to your apex. Use the road coming out up in the fifth gear. One of my favorite corners here at Laguna. Turn five, break super late, down two gears in the third. Use the rumble strips, get a little bit of run on the Corvette, but then he might have a little bit of horsepower advantage on us on the brakes. Oh, that was so pretty. Car getting a little bit squirrely on us. Up the hill, you're in the fourth gear, coming up to what everybody thinks is the best corner at Laguna Seca, the corkscrew. It's not really the best corner, but anyway. Down in the second gear, up in the third, through the course crew, it happened so quick. Up in the fourth gear, turn nine, a long, slightly decreasing radius left-hand corner, using all the road, turn 10, you fall into this corner. And then finally you come up into turn 11, which is one of the better overtaken areas on the racetrack. Down in the second gear, use all the road coming out. And then you'll see the acceleration of us versus the Corvette again in the World Challenge. Not everybody's running the same horsepower and sometimes it shows up on video. And that is one more lap at Laguna Seca.